We test out a ton of blades here at the channel. And as somebody who tests out a ton of blades, I gotta have a really reliable sharpening system. And I get questions asked of me a lot, what is my favorite sharpening system, sh sharpening brand, what do I use? Well, WorkSharp it has really been kind of my go-to for a long time. They hit a price point to performance level that I need. I mean, you can spend hundreds of dollars on sharpeners, you can spend, you know, five bucks. But there's a good middle ground that I think WorkSharp uh, works at and they hit it nine times out of ten in their designs to their performance and to their price point so um, they've really been kind of my go-to and particularly when I'm out here out and about out in the woods uh, I really need a good reliable tool to be able to resharpen my hatchets my tomahawks my uh, large choppers bushcraft knives multi-tools whatever it may be and for a long time it's been the field sharpener guided sharpener from work sharp this thing has been awesome for about thirty dollars you're getting a leather strop two different grits of diamond stones that work really well you're getting ceramic rods of different grits and it's a pretty compact package so it really does a fantastic job with almost every type of steel and any type of tool that i have in my collection that we'd be testing out here and for the thirty dollar price point you're really getting some Something that's going to work well for you. Well, WorkSharp has recently released the pocket knife sharpener, basically slimming down the version of the field sharpener and giving you something at about half the cost, but also with half the features. This little guy is going to run you about $15. We're going to have links in the description below for you guys over to Blade HQ as well as Amazon. I purchased this one. I purchased my field sharpener. So when you guys use those hyperlinks, it helps me get out there buy gear just like this, make videos just like this, and give you guys full comprehensive videos. So thank you for your support with the Amazon and Blade HQ links that we provide below. I'm gonna have this one, the Field Sharper, and several other WorkSharp products that I recommend and use on a regular basis for myself. So for me, with half of the features that the Field Sharpener has to offer, I really wanna know if it's worth paying only half the price or should you just stick with the field sharpener that's what we're going to discuss today we're going to run these head to head see what the pocket knife sharpener is designed for is it just for pocket knives can it do more than pocket knives is it an alternative and a better setup for those lightweight people who are out and about in the woods you know enjoying themselves or is it better to stick with the original work sharp field sharpener so we're going to discuss all that today look at all that today so let's go ahead and jump to it and see. all right so we're going to hit some dimensions here uh, before we actually look at performance of the stones and you know all of that and i will be running in um uh, if i can pull off the website as well um so you can see a side by side here uh one thing that is a really big positive with this pocket knife sharpener is the weight this is 1.6 ounces the field sharpener is 4.7 so it is significantly heavier so those people counting every single ounce maybe like lightweight backpackers who are just carrying like a pocket knife or maybe a multi-tool maybe a compact little mora or something like that and that's the only tool they're carrying with them this definitely would make some sense i think because of its size but um when we run it up uh, we're looking at four inches along on the diamond stone and on the ceramic rod for both in the strop so four inches long they will be a one inch wide on the field sharpener they're going to be half an inch wide on uh, for the diamond stones on the pocket knife sharpener and then the ceramic rods will be about the same diameter uh, and the this is going to be the really in my mind probably one of the main determining factors is because there's only one diamond stone for the um, pocket knife sharpener it's 320 grit and then a fine ceramic rod that's what you're getting. Whereas on the field sharpener, you're getting two different stones, 120, or sorry, 220 grit and 600 grit on either side. So that's a significant difference there, particularly that 620, or sorry, that 600 really will help to take out the chips and the burrs and the, the heavy damage to larger outdoor tools that you're not gonna necessarily find on a lot of pocket knives. Oh, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, and then the different coarseness and different types of ceramic rod, and then the strop on the other side. Uh, and obviously the, the slimness at a half an inch overall thickness. And then you're looking at with the ramps here and where they're laid out, more like an inch thickness. There will also be that secondary ceramic rod there for smaller serrated teeth for blades that have that and if that's a need of yours. But uh, if you are making like a really compact lightweight kit, the pocket knife one will make more sense just for size. But let's see when it comes to really performance, how does it do? So to test this out properly, what I wanted to do was damage a knife and try it on both of these sharpening systems. So I went with an open L number eight, 
in carbon steel because it's pretty easy to work with so we're not here all day trying to test this out and i can bang on it and you know it's a cheapo knife so if i damage the edge it's pretty easy for me to um, replace and or fix and you know work with so beat on a piece of concrete obviously don't do that went with the pocket knife sharpener first now it was able to get a pretty good edge back on it that could go back to work and get you know work done with it but it wouldn't be the edge that i really would have preferred because of the nicks and chips that i had in there and how long it took me one to get those out significantly longer um, and then uh, uh, the ceramic rod without having the strop as that finishing touch. Then I did the exact same thing again. Once I got that edge that was doable, absolutely doable and good, not at all a bad edge. Um, but then beat on the concrete again, jacked it all up and then went with the field sharpener, which then had that heavier 600 grit to remove those chips and burrs way faster uh, and then go to the 220. Um, then that removed it and got almost a mirror, you know, um, polish on it and then I went to coarse ceramic then to fine ceramic and then to leather stropping and by the time I was done I was super pleased shaving sharp razor sharp edge um, back on the open L now the whole process takes a little bit longer because you have more steps to go through but you're going to get um, uh, the edge that you want quicker and easier um, with meaning um, quicker in the sense that uh, the removing of the metal with the two different um uh, what's it called? Removing the chips was quicker. The overall process is a little longer with the field sharpener just because you have more steps to go through, but those steps are worth it because you're getting an overall finer, keener edge um, than what the pocket knife sharpener can offer you because it doesn't have the leather strop. It doesn't have the different types of grits. So I can really fine tune and hone what I need to do with whatever particular tool. So then I just began to work with size. How does it work? You know, size wise, it's the same length, but um, I went with, you know, a hatchet, did that uh, again the the heavier 600 grit is really where particularly those outdoor tools hatchets axes tomahawks large machetes that type of thing they're really going to shine because they're going to get beat up and the field sharpener can handle those edges and put uh, and get rid of those chips and burrs way faster than with the um grit on the pocket knife sharpener and then just overall manageability of the the item because the field sharpener is a little larger uh it's, it's just easier to grip easier to kind of work with than the pocket knife sharpener when you are doing like an se hungalus a big machete uh, again that hatchet uh and those type of tools so really um i finished up with just for size feel um an se 4 hm great knife uh and use that with the pocket knife sharpener and, and i could absolutely do it and get that good edge you know that you would want on an outdoor tool. But um, again, that would be about the max size that I feel comfortable that the pocket knife sharpener could handle are like four inch knives. Cause even a BK2, which is a five inch blade, um, was having some difficulty. It was just hard for me to manipulate. And again, isn't gonna have the grit levels and stropping and all that, that would get the edge that I really want. It's a it's a absolutely usable edge, but it's not the keen fine edge that the field sharpener can give. The pocket knife sharpener is good, but it's not, what the field knife sharpener can produce. And before we wrap up with some final thoughts, let's go ahead and jump over to the mailbag and answer some of your guys' comments from weeks past. All right, this mailbag question comes from Tony Colson, and he asks, uh, which other country would you most like to visit from an outdoor point of view and why? And uh, that's a great question. You know, I've had the, the privilege of being able to go all over the world on a lot of uh, mission trips with my church in uh, the years past. I plan to do many more. I've been to almost every continent except for Australia and South America, uh, inhabited continent. Um, and I would say from an outdoor point of view, because I'm in, you know, either Alpine or woods and that type of stuff all the time uh, here in uh, North America, I think I would really like to go to somewhere in South America, one, because I haven't been to that uh, country, maybe Brazil, maybe Peru, something like that, um, and really do some jungle um survival and go maybe with uh, Joe Flowers would be super sick uh, and you know something like that with his uh, Bushcraft Global but I'm, I'm used to all the the dry areas and you know pine trees and aspens and that type of stuff but I don't know a whole lot and, and I don't know a lot of techniques and what you need to know and knowledge for jungle survival so I think that would be really cool to go to somewhere like Brazil um, that is Amazon rainforest and really get a new perspective on techniques 
skill and that type of thing I think would be awesome and I hope to be able to do in the future and hopefully take you guys along for the ride. So great question. So next question comes from Darth Kroll. I guess, crawl. Uh, and that this Darth Lord, this Dark Lord of the Sith asks, I have family that lives in Wyoming and I do, I do go to visit them when I can. Can you recommend any good trails for a novice hiker in Jackson Hole area? Um, I've been to Wyoming a couple times. I don't live in Wyoming. Uh, I've actually flown in Jackson Hole a couple times and gone up to Teton and then up to um, Yellowstone. Beautiful, gorgeous area. I have no idea. What you could do is download the free app, which is All Trails. All Trails is a fantastic app. I use it all the time. And to my knowledge, I believe it's worldwide acclimated being able to be used worldwide um, definitely in North America and uh, you can just type in either a town zip code area and it gives you tons of options of trails gives you directions gives you how long it is things you're gonna see there it's a really really cool app to use not only for this um, Darth Kroll and for you but also for you guys if you're just looking for new trails and you want to get involved in new trails and new locations check that app out all trails uh, it's a really good app that gets me to new places that I would never find otherwise um, and it's a it's a really good option and hopefully it will help you find some easy trails in the Jackson Hole area. I hope you guys are enjoying this mailbag idea. If you want to get involved in the conversation and possibly have your question answered on air live uh, on an upcoming video, just put hashtag mailbag and then ask your question. And I'm always looking and if one really jumps off the, the screen at me, then I might include it in an upcoming video. So thank you guys for your participation in the mailbag and keeping this continuing to go. I think it's a really cool aspect to our conversation that we have here at the channel. Well, folks, my final thoughts on this system is the name is telling of its capability. If all you ever need to sharpen are some pocket knives and some compact multi-tools and you never foresee the need for any other type of resharpening, you don't really use your tools super hard, you don't have a lot of burrs and, you know, uh, chips possibly rolls, you know, it's usually just dulling and maybe some simple, you know, edge maintenance, then sure, for $15, this is compact, it's lighter weight, and it's going to cost you half the price. But for anything, I would say over four inches, if it's a fixed blade, it's a folder, um, you know, uh, survival knife, hatchet, all those type of things, this is not going to cut it. And the field sharpener is going to be the way to go. For double the price, it's not going to take too much more of a footprint, but you're going to get two different grits that have worked fabulous for me for years at taking out not only major damage to a tool out in the woods or out you know, on the job site, out in life or whatever it may be, um, but also giving me options. Ceramic rod options, stropping, which really gets the edge super fine tuned. And you're not really taking up that much more real estate in a pack, in a bag, EDC kit, whatever it may be. Whoa, what the heck was that? Big moth. That guy was like a B2 bomber. <laughs> I don't know if it was like a big wasp or something. <laughs> no. So for me, with the lifestyle that I live, this is absolutely the one that makes sense to me and worth double the price because I am going to get double the performance out of it. But for you, you'll have to decide what type of person you are, what type of tools you regularly use, and which one is going to be better suited for your needs. For a pocket knife and multi-tool, I think it can absolutely get the job done, but that's about it, and that's the full extent of its capability, and they named it properly by calling it the pocket knife sharpener. So thank you guys so much for coming over here today, checking out the channel. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you are a current subscriber, you rock. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit that bell icon so that these videos show up in your news feed if you haven't already next to the subscription button. If you are watching this video and you're not really familiar with Gideon's Tactical, I invite you to become part of the GT family. We're throwing up videos like this every single week, having fun, having a great time, and uh, just helping you guys better enjoy life through the gear that you purchase and that you look into so that uh, the gear is not the fun part. Life is the fun part. The gear just makes it a little bit more enjoyable so you can focus on the fun and on the outdoors and God's awesome creation. So uh, check us out on all the relevant social media. It's a great way to see what's up and coming as well. And finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.